And good morning, America. Hello again. Pack show this Super Bowl Sunday. Welcome to election night 2014. We are coming on the air right now because President Obama is about to speak. Welcome to an important night here in Washington. Thank you, National Press Foundation, for honoring our George. Don't have to tell you how deserving he is of this recognition. And I'm blessed to look at my left every morning and to see him right there. A new GMA co-anchor. And it is great to be here. Good morning to all of you. No one, and I mean no one, prepares for an interview for an assignment like George. And I sat down with the man in the middle of it all, Officer Darren Wilson, telling his side of the story for the first time. You're absolutely convinced if Michael Brown were white, this would have gone down in exactly the same way? Yes. No question. He is the consummate professional, the absolute best. George has been on assignment in Afghanistan. Good morning, Robin. As we examine the question of how to win this war here in Afghanistan, you can tell from my interviews with the two presidents, what do you say to Americans who see Russia as an unfriendly adversary? The Aren't you worried at all that we Putin is do playing for later. time and playing you? You called Secretary of State Clinton an enemy of Iran. Do you consider President Obama an enemy of Iran as well? We're interrupting your program because we have learned, ABC News has learned that Osama bin Laden has been killed. In a breaking news situation, there's no one better than George Stephanopoulos. There have been two explosions today at the Boston Marathon. Explosions right by the finish line. George is fully in control. A terrorist attack in Paris this morning, three gunmen on the loose. He's calm, he's collected, and there's no one better for ABC News to lead us through these extraordinary times. Such a sad morning here in Newtown, Connecticut. We're grieving with you. Uh, I appreciate it. <laughs> That announcement from Jason Collins just shatters stereotypes. You always knew you were gay. Several senators signed a letter encouraging Hillary Clinton to run. Is she your candidate in 2016? Your answer to running for president is not. Can you play in places like Iowa? It's going to be an awesome race. Are you going to be part of it? George is the best interviewer on television, and that's in part because he's such a critical thinker. And if no one else will step up, you would recommend putting American boots on the ground? Who is the most consistent conservative candidate, and which of you is best able to defeat President Obama? When you said you love Kim and think he's awesome, are you aware of his threats to destroy the United States and, and his regime's horrendous record on human rights? Uh, let's check in it's with really... uh, George on traffic. <laughs> <laughs> I understand it's bumper to bumper on the Major Deegan, George. Right. George is almost exactly the same person off camera as he is on camera. I wonder if this is how George feels these days. <laughs> Surrounded by chicks. <laughs> He's going to bring it every morning. We're going to make cupcakes. You're now sous chef. Add a little bit of that. OK. Add How am I doing almost add a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you OK, <cookie? laughs> He is a dear, loyal friend. I love that man. And a good family man, too. Every morning here on the set, during a commercial break, whips out his cell phone, calls his daughters at home before they head out to school. Mr. President, thanks very much. I enjoyed it. Thank you. George, no one deserves this prestigious award more than you do. From all of us here at ABC News, many congratulations. Where's your name again? Stand by. Okay, you guys. George. George.